Right, hi guys, so this is uh, my update video from one I did about two months ago and the reason I'm doing this update video is because I've bought quite a lot of stuff over the last two months and uh, yeah, I think people might be interested in watching this, hopefully they will be. So let's have a look what we've got here. So I actually just got this on Friday, this is my uh, new Emotiva XPA Gen 3 5 channel amplifier. It's a pretty cool unit, uh, it's a big unit that's for sure, look how deep that thing is man, look at it, massive thing. Just got this uh, cooling system recently as well, it's uh, from a company called AC Infinity, uh, to uh, get that imported over from America because uh, it don't retail over here, so actually ended up paying more for the shipping charges and uh, custom excise charges than the actual unit itself. <laughs> it's, uh, incredible. My uh, Denon receiver, AVR X6400H. And I just got these in well, about six weeks ago. These are KEF R50 Atmos speakers. So I've got two pairs of them. and they are very effective i wasn't sure how effective they were going to be because i didn't listen to a demo before i bought them but i did read quite a few uh, reviews on different websites and uh, people were raving about them really just saying how how good they were how effective they were um yeah so i, I chose that option for adobe atmos it's the easiest option obviously you don't have to cut any holes in ceilings or drill any holes in walls. The only uh, disappointing thing I would say about these speakers is you can't actually wall mount them. They, they don't come with a wall mount bracket. Um, obviously you can buy like you know a third party uh, wall mount bracket, uh, speaker bracket sorry, and, uh, and put them up that way but uh, I just prefer them on, on top of the speakers. I think they look pretty cool and uh, sound really good so I'm just leaving them there for now. I might, uh, hopefully I'm going to be moving out of here in uh, about 12 months anyway because it's my parents house so uh, when I get a place of my own I probably will just put them on the wall, get some speaker brackets and uh, wall mount them. Yeah, I've got a PS4 Pro as well since the last video, so I've got all the uh, consoles going on there now. And uh, I've got this new bench, uh, about four weeks ago I think it was, uh, well, entertainment unit, TV stand, bench, whatever you want to call it. Uh, it's by a company called Fan Um Quite expensive but uh, it's just the right size for my room and the stuff that I've got so uh, that's what I wanted to get and that's what I got. Got quite a few cables going on on the back here as well. These are my uh, QB reference, I think they're reference 40. Um, Interconnector cables. I just got them uh, obviously uh, on Friday as well. And I've got the power ramp. Got my uh, Monster HDMI leads. That one's a Sandstorm HDMI lead. And then my uh, QED uh, airlock banana plugs. Um, the rest of the plugs are obviously in the bottom of the uh, power ramp. For the so I've got my two front speakers, the central speaker and the two surround speakers. They're hooked up to the uh, power ramp and then the remaining speakers and the sub are obviously running through the receiver. And yeah, sounds pretty good. I haven't watched a, a movie or anything yet with a, with a new power ramp. Probably gonna do that on Tuesday when I get some time. But uh, yeah, I've got these yesterday as well. These are monster power units. Um, yeah, there's, there's kind of like 13 plugs just on, on this side of the room uh, and four on, on the other side of the room as well. So yeah, uh, I was using this thing down here, look. You can actually put 12 plugs into that, but uh, I think it was maybe a little bit risky with the uh, the Emotiva running through it as well. Maybe just a little bit too much power through one unit. So I got them too, as I said, I got them yesterday. Um, since the last video as well, I've got these speaker stands. These are Bowes and Wilkins speaker stands. Look a lot better than uh, the last ones I had. So it looks uh, 
pretty cool now that adds, adds hello. Yeah. So I think I think it's a pretty cool setup. I've only been in a home cinema really for about two years. I, I did have some stuff before then, but it's just stuff that my dad had bought me prior to uh, to me buying this stuff for myself in the last two years. So I don't, I don't think it's a bad setup, is it, for a twenty-year-old? That's my TV as well, by the way. That's a Samsung QE 75 Q9 FM. It's a pretty good TV. It's a no gap wall bracket. Well, I've got it on a bit of a tilt at the top there. Look, um, they say no gap wall bracket, but there is a gap. Uh, even if it's flat to the wall, there's definitely a gap. It's quite a bezel on that as well. I mean, it's not exactly a wallpaper TV, is it? My dad's got the uh, LG, uh, was it 77 inch W8? I think it is. We just got that this year. He's got it in the living room. I mean, that is a thin TV. That is like really thin. But this is a good TV, I like it. Yeah, I, I couldn't afford a wallpaper TV in this bedroom. <laughs> Just a, a little bit out of my price range. But yeah. Just one more look at that, man. Check it out. Look at that. That is cool. That is really cool. Just look at that. Quality. Anyway, guys, that's it. So, uh, yeah, anyone wants to ask any questions or leave any comments about the video, just feel free. I'm clearly not a professional uh, YouTuber. I'm not looking for any uh, subscribers or anything like that. I'm definitely not looking to make any money off of, uh, off of this. I'm just some uh, random guy from England uh, who likes home cinema. And, uh, yeah, I, th I think I actually need to stop buying this stuff now because I need to, as I say, I need to get my head down and uh, I'm working hard and I need to start saving up for a place of my own and get out of this madhouse. Anyway guys, thanks for watching and uh, bye.